Good morning. I'm A.D. Gardley, pastor of Faith Community Baptist Church, and I want to welcome you to our online services today. And I want to uh, share with you the good news of those who have uh, come out of hospitals uh, this week and uh, to those who have uh, been uh, doing much better this week than they were on the last week. Uh, those who have praise reports because of what God has done in their lives, we rejoice uh, with each and every one of them on this week. And those of you who continue uh, to face difficulties and shortfalls in your life, uh, I want you to know that we stand here willing and ready uh, to intercede and pray with you on behalf of what it is that you may be facing in life and going through. So give us a call at the church office, 562-452-4512. Or you can email us your prayer request at prayer at faithcbc.org. Uh, we're here. And uh, I want to remind you that we are uh, readying ourselves within the next few weeks to uh, reopen the doors for uh, those who are healthy and those who are um, are doing well and strong uh, to begin to uh, come and to sit in under certain guidelines that we're putting together and setting uh, forth. And we'll be sharing more with you about that via email, text messages, and so forth, and phone calls. So look, we look forward uh, to sharing with you more along those lines in the days and weeks to come about each step uh, that we are taking along the way. Uh, this week we have had to deal with uh, compounded anxiety. Uh, not only uh, do we find ourselves in the midst of this glo global pandemic, uh, that we've been adjusting to and overcoming day by day. But along with that, we've also had to deal with the pain of the dreadful murder of George Floyd in Minnesota. It's difficult uh, to stare into the face of evil and remain unaffected. The stain of sin and the stench of death can be overwhelming. But while we are considering uh, the options and waiting for justice uh, for those who perpetrated this uh, great injustice and crime. Uh, we want to uh, be reminded that God is not asleep. The solution for offender and offended alike are both found at the cross of Calvary. To the offender, God says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. He says to the offended, come unto me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Listen, as we come together and we share with you this morning later a message from Matthew 7 as Jesus was there uh, with the Sermon on the Mount. He shares with us in that 13th and 14th verse, the clear choice and solution to peace is found in Christ. Burning and stilling will not erase the stain of sin and the sting of death, but God is still the one who provides peace that passes all understanding. And I encourage you, my brother and sister, to put your faith and trust in the Almighty God, the one who not only was there in the beginning, who promised us the Savior, the Messiah, but the one who sits on the right hand of the throne of God. And there he is with outstretched arms welcoming all of those who would come to him uh, to find peace, rest, hope in him. And so I invite you 
do not find temporary relief in destructive behavior, but be positive and constructive by knowing that God has permanent solutions in the days and weeks to come. But more importantly than that, throughout all eternity, God has the answer. So we should trust God more than man. We know that we'll get some forms of justice down here, but ultimate justice comes in a right relationship with Jesus Christ. Lord, we welcome you into this time as we come together remotely. Lord, we pray that you would touch each and every individual under the sound of my voice. We pray that you would bless, that you would encourage, that you would uplift. In the name of Jesus, amen. I give myself away. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I give myself away so you can use me here I am here I stand Lord my life is in your hands Lord I'm longing to
somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less traveled. And that has made all the difference. I want to talk about the road less traveled. One road may be grassy and green. Mm -hmm. The other road obviously not traveled as much mm -hmm. with leaves piled upon it. But my brothers and sisters, it's the road less traveled uh, that will lead you to a place similar to that which is described in Luke 24 and 32 when uh, God shares with us this. Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us on the road yes. and while he opened the scriptures to us? That's something you would pick up on the road less traveled. Mm -hmm. That's not something that you might get on the road where everybody is going. There might be a lot of hand popping, a lot of clapping and pumping it up on the wide road, uh, but not so much on the road less traveled. Can I share with you three things about this text, these two simple verses? I want to share with you about the entrance. I want to share with you about the path. And I want to share with you about the exit. Oh. Uh, that just, just, just those simple thoughts I want to share with you about this text. The, right. the entrance, the path, and the exit. Yeah. Uh, because at first look, first glance, uh, uh, it, it might lead you to suggest, why would I ever want to get on this road? It just seems like not the obvious choice. He says in verse 13, enter by the narrow gate. Yes, yes. There's two gates. Yes. And both of the gates are at the entrance. Mm -hmm. I want you to catch that here in the text. Um, there's, there's two gates. Um, one is, is narrow whereas the other is why. Uh -huh. um, and, he's, and, and, and he's encouraging us, obviously, and, and we'll get to that as we look at it, but he, he's giving us an obvious choice here, but, but as he describes the gate, it, it is kind of uh, discouraging that anyone would really want to choose that first one. Yeah, yeah. The now one. Uh -huh. um, he says the narrow gate is, is, is much smaller than the other gate. Uh -huh. um, you have to make a choice to get on the now gate. Says, but even though it's a narrow gate, it's open. That's good news. Uh -huh. uh, it's good news that the narrow gate is still open and available that whosoever will come into the narrow gate can actually do so. Uh -huh. yes. yeah. It's open. Mm -hmm. It's a narrow gate. Uh, but it's an open gate. Um, and in order to get through the narrow gate, unlike the wide gate, uh -huh. um, uh, it causes for conversion and regeneration All right. at the narrow gate. Uh -huh. uh, we enter into this way in which we began a life of faith and serious godliness out of a state of sin 
into a state of grace, we pass as we go through the narrow gate. We enter the narrow gate by a new birth. Uh, John chapter 3 described that when Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night, and he has a conversation with him about how it is that he can get where God is offering him to go. All right. Jesus explains to him that he has to be born again. Uh -huh. Yes. My brothers and sisters, if we are to get through this uh, narrow gate, uh, we must be born again. Yes. Uh, there are some limitations on this gate. It's narrow. It's constricted uh, uh, as to how we would get in here at the entrance, and that's 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 direct opposite. Uh, of the other gate because it's so wide that you could stumble into it. All right. I mean, you're not going there on purpose. Uh, you just following the crowd and you look up. You done walk through the wide gate. I mean, you just hanging out with the boys uh, and you look up and you see the sign on the highway that you done went into. I mean, you you are in you're on the college campus uh, and uh, you're out on the quad. Uh, the music is bumping uh, and everybody is having a good time uh, and and they're starting to move uh, in a direction. Uh, and by the time that you finally look up, you're through the wide gate. I mean, everybody on the football team uh, is moving towards th this way, uh, and, and you move with the, the football squad, uh, and you look up, and you're, the cheerleaders uh, are, are, are there, and, and the pom-poms are flying, uh, and the cheers are going forth, uh, and, and you're moving with the crowd, and by the time you finally look up, you done walk through the wide gate. Yes, uh, it, it's easy to get in the wide gate, and we don't always like stuff that require us to have to think. Uh, I mean, a lot of times, you ask, you ask some of the brothers who sit in here, they don't read no instructions to what they buy. All right. Uh, we just open the box and start putting it together, and unless we run into a problem, we don't worry about no instructions. We just like to be able to, to just open it up and, and, and do it, just, just to walk through. Yes. yes. Uh, that's the wide gate. Uh -huh, yes. uh -huh. But when you go through the narrow gate, yeah. sometimes you have to go sideways to get past somebody. You, you have to push a turnstile uh, to walk through. You know when you're getting on the train uh, at the metro rail, you yeah. you gotta you gotta purposely go through it in order to get onto the train. Yes, yes. The narrow yeah. way. Uh -huh. uh, and then you get down there to the platform D, and and you're there on the platform. You don't want to mess around on the platform because it's not wide. Yes. You don't want to fool around and fall onto the tracks sure, yeah. when a train is coming. Yes. Yes. That's the narrow way. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I got good news. Yes. And the good news is, though it may be now, uh -huh. it's open. Uh -huh. yes. uh, Luke 6 and 46 says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Yes. Yes, one day, the gates will be closed. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, at some point, yes, they'll say last call. Yes. Yes, uh, and, and, and at, at that point, it's too late to try to get in. You just ask uh, half of the bridegroom who was waiting, uh, yes, uh, to 
to get in. Uh, yes, uh, they, had, they had taken a nap, falling asleep. Why? They were waiting for the groom to show up. And when he showed up, there were those who were wise, but then there were those who were foolish. Yes. Yeah, those who were wise, they got their oil before they fell asleep. But those who were foolish uh, waited till the last minute. Uh, yes, uh, and then they wanted to borrow somebody. <laughs> can, can I borrow some of your oil? <laughs> uh, yes. They had to go at the last minute and they had to run out and try to buy them some oil. And by the time they got back to get in, this is what happened. It's over in Matthew 25 and 10. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him yes. to the wedding. Yes. Uh, and the door was shut. Yes, yes uh, that's coming the time when the gate yes. will be shut. Yes. yes, Luke 13 and 25 says it like this, speaking in relation to, to another episode. Uh, and it says, when once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, and be you began to stand outside, uh, and there you are. You knocking on the door. Yes. And, and there you are. Lord, Lord, let me in. And he'll just simply answer like this. I don't know who you are. And I don't know where you come from. Yes, uh, it's a little late then to try to get in the gate. And so the good news is that though the gate may be narrow, it's open. Yes. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, while we may not like everything that God says to us, uh, the good news is, is that Jesus did come, and he did go to Calvary's cross, uh, and he stands right now with outstretched arms, uh, saying, come unto me, Yes, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Yes. yes, the good news is that the gate is still open. Yes. 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 yes, but I haven't told you enough about the entrance. Uh, it's now. Yes. yes, but let me tell you something about the path. Uh, yes, uh, it, it, it's not that uh, exciting either. Yes, can I, can I get into the path? Uh, he, says, uh, he says that it's the narrow gate versus the wide gate. But then he says, uh, that is the broad way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, versus the difficult way. The refined way. That's what that word means. Uh, yes. Constrained, refined, or hemmed in. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, he says, uh, option one is a broad road. But another option is uh, a, a narrow, defined, constrained. Strained, hemmed in uh, road. Yes. Yes. You done already went through the gate. Now you're on the path. And he says the path itself is a narrow road. Yes. And some of those trips that I took from here to Mississippi, here to Chicago. Yes. Uh, some of you heard of that historic Route 66. Yes, yes uh, just a two-lane highway in places. Yes, where where you have to, in order to go around somebody, you got to go in the opposing traffic lane uh, and get over quickly and move back to your lane. Yes. It's just that now, just a two-lane highway. Yes, uh, and, and that reminds me of what God is talking about here in this text. Yes, uh, he, he talks about a, a, a narrow, confined way that, that, that you got to press up against other folks. And sometimes when you're on uh, one of them two-lane highways, yes, uh, it, 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 it just messes you up. Yes, because you want to go, you know, about 75 or so and get to where you're trying to go. Yes, uh, but somebody may be carrying a trailer. Somebody, uh, yes, may be driving a truck. Uh, 
Yes, yeah, somebody just may not know how to drive around them cars. Yes. yes, and they're in your way. Yes. And you got to wait because you are in a confined two-lane highway. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, and that's how it is sometimes in life, my brothers and sisters. That's why God uh, would share with us oftentimes about the need for us to wait on the Lord. Yes. Be of good courage. Yes, yes uh, because sometimes when you're on a restricted highway, you know, one of these narrow roads, uh, a road less traveled, yes, yes you've got to sometimes be patient because uh, God ain't through with me yet. Yes. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh -huh. Yes, uh, but, but my brothers and sisters, while it's not looking all that good yet, it's going to look good in a minute. You just stick with me for a little while. Right. Yes, uh, cause I'm gonna keep looking at this road. Uh, yes, uh, 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 it's it's a road where uh, if you are born again, you're on a narrow road. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's a confined road. Uh, it's a road, uh, but that has our sins forgiven. Yes, yes. Uh, it's, it's a road, uh, yes, uh, that has a comma, but not a period. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, I want you to know, it's not the end of your story. Uh -huh. That's why you don't have to be sad uh, about it being a narrow road, because it's not the end of your story. It's just a comma. You do know, you do know punctuation marks, right? Yes, uh, a, a, a period marks the end of the city. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, but a comma is just a pause, uh, and you can keep on going. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, he says, uh, on the road, let's travel. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, it, it's a narrow, confined road. Uh, yes, uh, but on the other hand, the broad road, uh, yes, uh, it's, it's, not, it, it's not as refined. Yeah, there are a lot of travels. Yes, uh, on the broad road. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, uh, you go down to, to Broadway. Uh, yes, uh, and you know, on the other side of First Street. Uh, yeah, go down into Chinatown. There's a whole lot of folk. Yes, down there eating and going on uh, on Broadway. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, Broadway. Uh, yes, everybody's hanging out. Uh, yeah, on Broadway. Yeah, yeah, somebody wrote a song about that. I don't have time to fool with that. Yes, uh, but Broadway. Yeah. Yes, it's where the excitement is. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's where the city lights are burning. Uh, yes, it reminds me of back in the day when, when everybody was headed down to 15 trying to get where the lights are. Somebody know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, when the lights don't go out, uh, where folks stay up all night long, uh, yeah, you can find a steak, uh, steak and egg breakfast for $6.99. I'm dating myself now. Yes, uh, you can get something to eat any time of the day. Yes, uh, on the Broadway. Yes, uh, but he says, uh, wow, well, there are a whole lot of folk uh, on Broadway. He says, uh, I want you to come down uh, to the narrow way. Uh, and when you come to the narrow way, uh, it's not as many people there uh, on the narrow way. Uh, yeah, look at, look at what he says about the Broadway versus uh, the narrow way. Uh, yes, uh, it, it's right there in the text. Uh, in, in verse 13, at the very end, he says, uh, and there are many who go in by it. Yeah. Yes, uh, but look at what he says uh, at the end uh, of verse 14 uh, in relationship to the narrow uh, road. And he says, there are few who find it. Yeah. Catch that now. Mm -hmm. Yes, many who go in by it. Yes. Few who find it. Yes, yes sir. You can stumble in on the broad road. Yes. You just go in by it. But you've got to be determined yes. to get into the narrow road. He says, few who find it. In other words, you've got to be looking for it. All right. yes. If you're going to go in uh, to the straight gate. Yes. Yes, sir. You go in there on purpose. 
Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, my brothers and sisters. Uh, yes. Uh, and, uh, and, 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 and when we look at uh, the distinction between the, the broad road uh, and the confined road, Yes, uh, uh, it might discourage you at first, or it might entice you to go back and go the other way. Uh -huh. uh, but I, 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 would, I would implore you, I would uh, beg of you uh, yes. not to do that. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, don't do that. Yeah, follow the crowd. Uh, yes. yes, down Broadway. Yes, yes uh, I, 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 would, I would implore you, uh, I beseech you, my brother, my sister, not, don't you dare. Go down Broadway, uh, yeah. yes, uh, uh, I know that the fingers are popping, I know that the music is loud uh, on Broadway, uh, yeah. but don't you dare go down there. I know the lights are bright on Broadway, but don't you dare go down there. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. You ought to find the narrow way. Yes. Yes, yes uh, uh, I'm reminded of Luke 13, verses 22 through 30. Yes, uh, and uh, Jesus went through the cities and villages teaching and journeying towards Jerusalem. Uh -huh. uh, then one said to him, Lord, are there few who are saved? All right. and here's what Jesus had to say to that question. He said, strive to enter through the narrow gate. Yes. For many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Yeah. Yes. Uh, when once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, and you began to stand outside and knock at the door saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. And he will answer to you, I do not know you where you are from. Can I get a witness here? Yes. yes uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, we ought to see the Lord while he may be found. Yes. Yes. yes uh, the Lord stands with outstretched arms uh, saying uh, to each and every one, uh, yes, uh, that I died uh, for the many. I died for the masses. Uh, yes. Will you be one yes. of those who will come uh, and wrap hold of my hand? Uh, yes. yes uh, will you recognize that you are in need of a Savior? Yes. 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 This is Jesus talking on the Sermon on the Mount, y'all. Yes. Yes, uh, and he says, uh, I, I want you to be careful. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I want you to be careful. Um, because a lot of times we look at crowds when we make a decision. Yeah. You know I'm right about it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. When you're looking at restaurants that you want to go to, and uh, you done already Googled it, you done uh, looked it up on Yelp, yeah. but when you get there, uh -huh. yes, uh, nobody's in line. When you get there, uh, there's not a whole lot of people seated at the tables. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and you start thinking, uh, maybe I didn't select the right one. All right. Yeah. Maybe I did not choose the right restaurant. Yeah. Yes, uh, you look across the street. Uh, yes, uh, and there's a long line. Uh, yes, yes uh, at Red Lobster. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, uh, and so you decide maybe that's the place uh, that I ought to be. Yes, yes, yes uh, I know I'm right about it. Yes, yes you go out on a Friday night. Yes, yes uh, and, and you look uh, and you see, uh, yes, yes uh, and at the one spot, uh, yeah, they got the red rope out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that velvet one? Yes, yes and, and folks are wrapped all the way around the corner. Yes, yes uh, waiting to get in that spot. Yes. yes uh, then the other little spot across the street, uh, you can walk right on in. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, and so you go to the one uh, with the folk wrapped right around the corner, hoping that you can get in there uh, because it looked like yeah. something going on in there. Yeah. 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 That's how we make our decisions. Uh, yes. Uh, but my brothers and sisters, when it comes to kingdom business, yeah. Yeah. you cannot always make your choices based on where crowd is here. Yes, uh, because you listen to the crowd, uh, they'll tell you that you ought to come here and go there. Yeah, you listen to the crowd, they'll have you messed up. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, you got to be careful about the crowd. Be encouraged. Yes, uh, why we don't mean to be 
selfish about it. Right. Yes, we in fact want everybody to go to heaven. Oh, yes, yeah. yes uh, but I want you, don't take for one minute. Yes, that you done made the wrong choice. Uh, yes, uh, because there's more folk at the club than there is in the church house. Yes, yes. Now, don't you dare be disturbed. Don't you dare think for one moment that you made the wrong decision. Uh, because there's more folk at the Beyonce concert uh, than there are in Bible study. Don't you dare think you made the wrong mistake. Uh, because there are more folk at the racetrack than there are at prayer meeting. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the crowd are not indicative of whether or not you chose the right road. Yes. Yes. Uh, my brothers and sisters, because uh, I, I want to give you the good news. We talked about the entrance. We talked about the road. But then, my brothers and sisters, can I tell you about the exit? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, the entrance, uh, it may be now. Yes. The path it may be restrained, but the exit is awesome. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, 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 the destination uh, is something. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, the, the final result is out of sight. Yes. Uh, uh, can I interest you in the destination? Yes. Yes. Uh, when I took road trips, All right. going across country, Yes, it was not that exciting being cramped up in the car. I mean, it's exciting when you stop in different states, different places, try new restaurants along the way. Yes, uh, but it's really not all that exciting as is the destination. Yes, <laughs> when you finally get to where you go, yes, it makes all the difference in the world. Yes, uh, and when I compare what God says about the destination of Broadway versus the destination of, yes, of narrow lane. Yes, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, I, I, I want you to see something here. He says uh, that Broadway leads to destruction. I trust that this message has been a blessing to you and it has started the wheels turning in your mind. As you began to think about the choice of the narrow way as opposed to the broad way, I know that it's easier to go in the direction of the crowd, but we have a choice today that we would follow the narrow road and that we would end up with the results that God has for you and for me. God has peace, God has purpose, God has a plan. And if we would trust Him, He'll work it out for us. And if you have more questions, and if you're looking for a relationship with Jesus Christ, I want to invite you uh, to get in touch with us at Faith Community. Call the office at 562-452-4512. Or reach out to uh, me at Pastor Gartley at faithcbc.org. Love to have further conversation with you about your journey uh, in this life. I encourage you to uh, worship the Lord in giving now as you would give to Him as God has been a blessing to you. Give back to Him out of the abundance of that which He's provided for you. It's offering time and we want to encourage you to um, go to faithcbc.org in the upper right uh, left hand corner and click on the uh, button there and contribute. Share your tithes and offerings uh, there and worship the Lord in giving. Lord, once again we pray that you would bless the gifts and the givers and we pray that you would use it to your glory and the building up of your kingdom. We pray, Lord, that you will continue, Lord, to open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings on us that we have not room to receive. Amen. Now as we leave this 
service online, I want to encourage you to not only pray for your brother or sister who is a part of the family of faith, but pray for those around the world. Pray for uh, the family of, of George Floyd and others who have gone through various circumstances, injustices in their lives, hurts and pain. Uh, I want you to pray for them uh, and trust God to uh, be a source of comfort in their lives as they're dealing with uh, those things from one day to the next. Would you do that? Pray uh, for your neighbor. Pray uh, for your friend. Pray for your family member. Pray for those around the globe. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now henceforth and forevermore. Amen. God bless you, and we'll see you on next week.